Here we have the RH807 with a, it's 2.4 gigahertz with a six axis gyro. Pretty nice looking ducted fan drone. Uh, it's like almost like a chrome red. So that looks pretty cool. So this is the RH807, but it's not this RH807. It's this RH807, which actually it's the RH807H. And what that H stands for is altitude hold. So this drone is altitude hold, and we'll be able to see that when we pull the controller out because altitude hold controllers always spring back to the middle. And let's open up this box. Okay, here is your manual. Uh, looks like it's in multiple languages. This pouch here comes with two spare propellers comes with a 3.7 volt 150 milliamp hour lipo battery and then the USB charger right here here's where I was saying the throttle springs back to the middle so this is altitude hold There's a lot of buttons on this I'll go over which ones they are and what they do what they do here's the drone pretty sharp looking thing battery slides in right here plug it right here no on and off switch Plugging it in and out is turning it on and off. Now back to the controller. As you can see, altitude hold. This is your up, down, left and right, y'all. Forward, reverse, and then left and right. This top button here is, if you do a short press, it is headless mode. If you do a long press, it is one key return. This button right here is your one key takeoff. And then this is your one key landing. This drone has multiple rates. So you press this button to go to the higher rate. You press this button to go to the lower rate. This button is for your flips and rolls. So you just press this button and then whichever direction you want to flip or roll. So all these buttons are your trim buttons. These two here is for forward and backwards. And then this is your left and your right trim. And then of course you have your power switch right here with the LED. It does require three AAA batteries. So there you go. Little rundown on the controller and showed you everything that comes in the box. So I think now after we charge this battery up, we're ready to fly. Okay, now we're gonna do the test flight of the RH807H. Just plug it in. Okay, flashing like that. Red's the front, blue's the back. Turn the controller on. Now you have to do up, down to bind, up, down. Okay, we have solid LEDs. So this has an auto takeoff feature, which is this button right here, this top button right here. So it should take off. Oh. <laughs> Seems like we have a little bit of a breeze. Now it is altitude hold. So I'm push, pushing forward to try and get it to go forward. Now this does have more than one rate. If you press this button here, it, you can, okay, you hear the two beeps. Now you have, now you're in like an intermediate. And then if you press it again, there's three beeps and Oh yeah, that, that's a little bit faster. So it looks like, oh yeah, I have to trim this. Okay, so when you're in the first rate, look at the yaw, that, it is a little bit breezy. So it, it is kind of hard to control this. It doesn't feel like there's too much of a breeze, but you can definitely tell that there is a breeze because this thing is is really, whoa, really fighting it. Well, there I can feel a breeze. You can see the, the trees moving a little bit. Well, it's a new day and uh, well, it's a little more calm here. Hopefully this works a little better. Now we're gonna try this one key takeoff, which is this button right here. All right, so it's holding altitude. We got to trim it. Okay, so it is handling a little bit better. OK, 
Okay, now we have a perfect hold right there. You see that? Well, now it's drifting front. <laughs> okay, that's as good as we're gonna get for now. So we're in the in the first rate. Let's check this yaw out. Okay, the first rate, the yaw is very slow. But if you bump it up, you hear the two beeps there? If you bump it up, the yaw is a little bit faster. It doesn't quite hold a perfect yaw there. And it moves a little quicker too. So let's try the third rate. You heard the three beeps, there's three rates. You can see there's much more pitch. It's a little bit faster. This isn't really one of my faster ducted fan drones that I've flown. Okay, let's, uh, top right shoulder button is the flips. So let's try a flip here. We'll do a front flip. Okay, so when you do a flip, it seems like it, it raises altitude, then does the flip, and then lands back to the altitude it was at before. You see that? It goes up a little bit and then does the flip. So there was a flip on every angle. So the one key takeoff does work pretty well. Like I said, this, this isn't really the fastest one I've flown. Still fun though. The altitude hold works pretty well. Here, we'll just uh, stop it right here. And as you can see, it's just holding it tight. It is uh, drifting a little bit, but I do believe that there is just a slight crosswind there, which could be affecting the speed too, but I don't think it'll be affecting it that much. So yeah, the flips, the rolls, they all work pretty well. Let's do another one. You wanna, these batteries don't last long, so you, you wanna get your flips and your rolls done like <laughs> you want to have your fun right in the beginning because because if you wait too long the battery's gonna the battery is gonna die and uh or get low when the when the battery gets low you'll notice the leds are gonna blink so far we're we're doing good no blinking leds so we can still still do our rolls Let's try this landing here. Let's try, it has a one key landing. So let's, let's, uh, let's land it right here. If you hit the one key landing, which is this button right here. Oh, good thing it landed in the grass. So when you hit the one key landing, it just cuts the power to it and just drops it out of the air. So. That is probably not a good thing if you're in a parking lot. So I would recommend maybe lowering it to the concrete or the blacktop first and then and then hitting the button. There I did the one key takeoff again. But if I bring it down and just land it, will it cut the power to the propellers? Okay. I would recommend landing it that way and not using the one key landing, especially if you're like pretty high up and you just hit that one key landing button, you're gonna crash it. So bring it down manually and land it manually. But let's have a little fun with this while we still have some battery left. Oh, okay, and when the battery gets too low, that just landed on its own and shut the power off. So, good to know that. So if the battery gets too low, it automatically lands it.
the channel is going to be this Q15 rock crawler from JJRC. If you didn't do it already or watching this for the first time, right over here is a little subscribe button. Go ahead and click that. Say hello to Abby. And I hope to see you with the next Ready to Run RC.